Hello there, my Libra Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, Libras. Your energy is so interesting. Uh, hopefully there's like more positivity when it comes to this, Libras. Some of you, it's like, uh, I feel like you're almost stuck. Some of you, when it comes to uh, emotional relationships or partnerships, I feel like love's been a little bit uh, hard, uh, difficult, or difficulty in uh, understanding your feelings, whatever the hell you got going on. What's the general vibe with you, Libras? Nine of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. There at the fucking Four of Wands. So what the fuck is this energy with you? Something doesn't work if you're trying too fucking hard. Uh, Libras, be mindful of the sort of wild card energies too. I don't think some of y'all have taken to... Uh, uh, your thoughts here, the sort of wild card energies, right? So this is like the mousy energies. This is like the things that you're not paying attention to. People, places, and things that sort of uh, can fuck up this sort of energy vibe you got going on. So, damn. Be mindful of the messy energies. Be mindful of those that are kind of in that vibe right there. So, damn, definitely watch your favorite astrologer. So, your astrology, there could be some interesting sort of uh, trines going on or some uh, sort of conjunctions vibe, right? The pentacles energy isn't quite working. Some of y'all, it's all that sort of external energy with the three of pentacles there. That sort of satellite energy. If someone's watching you, someone's watching them watching you. So, damn. Definitely be mindful of the wild card energy here. So this is the sort of people that you're not really aware of or you're not really taking into consideration that kind of play it fast and loose. You know what I mean? Nine of Cups there with the Virgo vibe. So you got the Aquarius star. If someone's watching you, someone's watching them watching you or someone's watching you watching them. There's the Eight of Pentacles. There's the King of Swords vibe. There's the Libra vibe. There's the Capricorn energy. Some of y'all, it's the wild cards. It's other people's codependencies. It's other relationships or partnerships. This is where the energy can get really fucking messy. So Libras, this is those of you that chose to focus on you versus those of you that chose to put your faith and trust in other people. Uh, who's getting let down here or not? It feels like it's other people's sort of fucked up codependencies to sort of factor in on something here. Basis, you got High Priestess. There's the Six of Wands. There's the King of Cups. There's the Page of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Two of Wands. There's the Cancer. So who's going behind your back on something? So... <laughs> Damn Libras, for some of you, it's the wild card energy. It's the quiet one you weren't expecting. So this is that whatever that sort of group dynamic you had going on. Who's going behind your back here to take an opportunity? This is when it's messy. Your energy's been coming up kind of messy. So, uh, damn. Take what's yours, leave what's not. Watch your favorite astrologer. Some of y'all be mindful of this King of Cups energy, that sort of emotional connection. But some of y'all, that was the sort of wild card uh, opportunity, right? Some of y'all could have been dealing with a Capricorn in particular. Seven of Wands with the Ace of Swords. There's the Knight of Swords. There's the King of Wands. There's the Seven of Swords. And there's the Four of Wands energy. To the Tower, to the Nine of Wands. Lord have mercy. So, uh, damn. 
Uh, if you were gambling on something, you kind of lost your ass here because you were gambling on like the sort of wild card energy. So, sweet Jesus. Libras. Especially if you bet on horses. This feels like betting on horses. And you like, uh, what do they call the one that's like uh, the odd horse out? This feels like horse racing. So take what yours, leave what the fuck isn't. But it's it's got that sort of energy on it. So some of y'all bet on like the messy energy. So damn Libras. I don't feel like this is all Libras. Uh, I almost felt like there's this sort of divide energy with you Libras. You've got those of you in the Capricorn, the sort of toxic codependent relationships or partnerships, and others of you that avoided that. Because you paid attention to what you needed to pay attention to. This is kind of whatever your rules of retrograde are. So if you follow your astrology, you kind of avoided that energy. So no unnecessary risks. This does feel like some of the horse bets. I don't bet on horses, so I don't understand that. But it is kind of that energy. So, damn. Take what's yours, Libras. Leave what the fuck is it. Because I feel like it's kind of like a, a a sort of mixed vibe here. So bottom of the deck is the Nine of Swords there with the King of Wands. Or the Knight of Wands there with the Ten of Swords. There's the Queen of Swords. There's the Gel Lovers vibe. There's the Six of Cups. There's the Aquarius star. Who the fuck is this Aquarius star energy? The Virgo had the Aquarius star in the Lantern. So, some of you were hedging your bets on someone who was just shit. And there was the Aquarius star the whole fucking time. This is an uncomplicated energy as well. So, maybe this is an energy you're working through if Aquarius uh, plays an important role in your astrology. Some of y'all were fools and did like the same fucking thing and got stuck or stagnant. And others of you focused on like really positive vibes. So take what's yours and leave what's not here, Libras. It all comes down to this sort of like shortcut energy or who'd you place your bet on and then you lost your ass because someone was just really messy. For a lot of you, it's someone else's codependencies that sort of make the energy not work. If you do horse, you bet on horses, it, it's kind of like that. You have like the ones that are favored to win. And then you have like the one that's like, uh, uh, what are they? It's like the, they're the odd horse out or the, the one that isn't really projected to win. If someone was watching you, someone was watching you watching them or whatever the fuck, that messy ass energy that fucks up a lot of this. So it's way too much secondary energy. Some of you be mindful of those with messy fucking vibes around them as well. So take what's yours, leave what's not. The clarity's coming in. There is a tower moment and something isn't, something isn't quite working. So some of y'all bet on their own fucking horse. That's a metaphor, so definitely I'm not condoning uh, gambling, but it, it's sort of that energy. It was uh, hedging your bet. Four of Pentacles, the Hierophant, there's the Scorpio vibe. So watch your favorite astrologer. You got Scorpio energy, you got Taurus energy right there with Aquarius vibes. Three of Cups, two of Pentacles. There, <laughs> Some of you are happy. You did not get into that relationship or partnership. So whatever this sort of vibe is, I feel like half of y'all avoided that sort of fucked up energy and the other half of y'all went right straight into it, not paying attention to the sort of wild card energy. So uh, some of you with regard to relationships or partnerships, you didn't get involved with somebody because they still had some messy ex energy. So you could have like said no because you didn't like the sort of... Uh, energy they were in or whatever that sort of vibe is so take what's yours and leave what's not here uh libras it kind of is what it is so libras this could be the dynamics in a relationship or partnership with you 
or just the sort of uh, <laughs> whatever the fuck this is. No unnecessary risks. That was the whole point with this. So if you're not somebody that takes unnecessary risks, I feel like you were, you avoided this sort of stuck, stagnant. A lot of this is external karmic energy. So who are you placing your bets on and how messy of an energy did they have? Uh, good retrograde vibes. What's your favorite astrologer? Some people are stuck in this type of relationships or partnerships and others of you are like this. So it's it's kind of like this energy at play with you. You got the beautiful Gemini energy and then you got the Capricorn energy. So take what's yours and leave what's not. It's all about choices. Some of you, it's, it's those with the sort of messy attachment energies around them. That's what makes the difference. This does feel like horse racing energy. Not condoning gambling, but it feels like, uh, you know, whatever they use people to bet on the horses, right? It's kind of like that energy. So those of you that didn't bet, and those of you that did, but... It wasn't a, uh, a wise choice. Those of you that are happily single, by choice, and those of you that are now sort of, uh, uh, you're stuck with this energy. You're like saddled up on that energy. So, you know what I mean? Take what's yours, leave what's not here, Libra. Whoever the fuck the Aquarius star is, um, that's like the, the one you should have been betting on. Whatever that sort of Virgo vibe is. So definitely watch your favorite astrologer. There are way too many energies up in this shit too. So if someone's watching you, someone's watching them watching you, or however the fuck that energy goes, way too much. Way too much. The Virgo has the Aquarius star there in the lantern. So. Right now, who the hell can you trust should be the question. <laughs> Definitely be mindful of uh, who you sort of. Uh, what do you say when you join your horses together or some shit like that? Interesting horse reference or uh, horse betting. Not condoning gambling, so take what's yours or leave what's not. Those of you that didn't, that's what made the difference. So someone hedged their bets and some of you didn't. Some of y'all, it's a wild card energy. So take what's yours, leave what's not. Definitely watch your favorite astrologer. No unnecessary risks. So, that's kind of the whole point. Way too much. If someone's watching you, someone's watching them watching you, or whatever the fuck that energy is. Way too fucking messy here. Way too messy. So, be mindful of that codependency. Or others' codependencies, right? Take what's yours, leave what's not, Libra. Uh, no unnecessary risks. Stay, stay focused. Stay positive. Uh, probably now is not the time to date. Or if you are going to date, take your time with that. Some of you, you are doing that. So you're being very mindful of that. You might be coming across as a tad bit stingy. But, eh. Better to be smart than uh, be stuck with some sort of shit energy, right? No unnecessary risks either. So that's what makes the difference. Good luck, God bless. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Take what's yours and leave what's not. Definitely watch your favorite astrologer. This could be like some trining energy with you or some sort of conjunction energy with you. Uh, definitely very interesting. Maybe a little more interesting than you want it to be, but definitely very interesting. Good luck, God bless. Like, share, subscribe, Libra.